What's up, Internet? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. It is time to do it with Hewitt, and it's also time for another minimalist workout of the week. This week, we're going to be looking at split squats, T-bar rows, and suspended push-ups. I was going to do bench press. My shoulders are feeling a little weird today, so I decided to mix it up a little bit and go with uh, ring push-ups. Uh, these have been really great for my shoulders. I just find the extra stability challenges all those small intrinsic muscles, the stabilizers. And I do put a little bit of weight on my back or I'll elevate my feet. Actually, ring push-ups can pretty, be pretty damn challenging uh, and I really feel the chest after, so should be fun. So I'm looking forward to the workout today. Enough jibba-jabber, let's get at her. Starting off with the split squats, and I found that anchoring my foot on the uh, padded attachment on the bench here has been much more comfortable than using a, a step or just putting my foot on a bench. Able to get a little lower, more range of motion, it's not uncomfortable in my ankle or my, uh, my foot. And I'm aiming for at least 90 degrees of the knee, trying to keep my knee lined up over the foot, controlling the negative and contracting hard at the top. This really hits the quad and the glutes making sure I complete even number of repetitions on both legs and I usually start off with the weaker leg and match those reps with the dominant side. Now to save time in this video I'm only showing the final set so this is the third round of each exercise. I'm not showing the warm-up round or the first couple of working sets uh, nor am I going to show the drop set here. I recommend performing a warm-up set with about 50 to 60 percent of your working weight and then drop set to that after the last set as well. Moving on to the T-bar row. And this is my final set. I found that uh, the working weight I chose here was getting a little bit too heavy for me to complete the reps so I had to drop it down a little bit part way through and then I dropped it again for the, uh, the, the drop set after I hit fatigue. Finishing up with the suspended push-ups. Awkwardly getting a little bit of weight on my back and then working through as many repetitions as I can until I hit fatigue. And then moving on to just regular push-ups for a drop set. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. I'll be posting another workout of the week next week. Subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And until next time, stay strong.